there's a shift that occurs after Yom HaKippurim from the left hand to the right hand. From the Gvorot to the Hasidim. As we finish the side of Gvorot, which is the left hand, with the five services of Yom HaKippurim, closing the gates, sealing with the Nila service, that ends the usage of the left hand, the five fingers of the left hand, the five Gavoro symbolized by the five final letters, symbolized by our five fasting things that are six, eating and drinking comprising one, symbolizing these five letters, these five finals. This is echoed in the phrase from Song of Songs, his left hand under my head and his right hand embraces me. As soon as we finish Yom HaKippurim, we now get embraced starting on the 11th of Tishri. The 11th of Tishri, the day after Yom HaKippurim, is the beginning of the accumulation of the Hasidim, of the right hand. We continue this building with the right hand through Hoshana Rabbah, which is the second seal, and this is the seal of the right hand. The 11th of Tishri starts to build these five Hasidim that will culminate on the first day of Sukkot, on the 15th, we build from the Sapphirot of Hod, because we build up in building our Sukkah. These in-between days are so important. These four days before Sukkot. Hold for the eleventh. Netzach for the twelfth. Teferet for the thirteenth. Gavura for the fourteenth. Each having a single uh, Hasidim. They are of the of the five fingers. Let's see if I can get that here. Pinky being the 11th, ring finger the 12th, middle finger the 13th, pointing finger the 14th, and then on the 15th we have the real, where the Hasidim really start from, the Hesed, which is just much, much stronger than the other and represented by the thumb. All with the right hand. So the right hand embraces. This 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th is echoed in, other, in, in another Mishnah. When we talk about Purim and the Megillah, says, when can the Megillah be read? It says the 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, or 15th. And here we are, we're in another, ele- same period of five days. Now, for both of these periods, but especially for the Purim period, it's a Mishnah, but I've echoed this now in doing the 
Gematria. And not only of the 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th, these are the four days in between. This has a gematria of 50. 50 is Shavuos, another giving of the Torah. Day after seven times seven. So we just had the Torah given on Yom HaKippurim. That was the second second uh, set of Ten Commandments. And in a weird sense, the first set of Ten Commandments is echoed in the first four days after uh, Yom HaKippurim. They echo in the same name because the Megillah of Purim and Yom HaKippurim have the same name. Miraculously, the first set of commandments is echoed in the Shavuos numbers of 50 on the, fourth, uh, on the four days afterwards as, as the second comes first the, the Yom HaKippurim here comes before the 50. If we also add the 15th day, we get 65. 65 is the name of Adonai, Aleph Dalaf. Dalad Nun Yud. This echoing in added to the Yud K Vav K of pure mercy of Yom HaKippurim gets to be 91. The Amen number, but the Melach, Malach number, the Malach number of 91. Because on Yom Kippurim, we were Malachim. It's a Malach. And then right afterwards, what do we do? We start physicalizing ourselves and building our temporary homes in the Sukkah. So these days here are now still a mala going into the sukkah. I'm living in the clouds. Another one of these things is I've associated letters with each one of these 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, and then 15th day. These are the five Hasidim. These same letters of the Purim, of the Megillah um, Mishnah. So I have the 11th letter, Kaf, Lamed, uh, Mem, Nun, uh, Samech. Now, if you add these letters together, you get 200. But if you expand all these letters into their full spellings, you get 480 which I'll leave you to do, full spelling of mem, which is mem, mem, 80. And then full spellings of the other letters. 480 is the gematria 
of Sitra Akra. And what we do here is it ain't soft. And Sitra Akra, which are the same R Roshe Tivo, but in Hippuk. Ain't Sof permeates here into the Sitra Akra. Right from the start, right from right after Yom Hakipurim. Now, there's a lot of things here I want to uh, touch upon, which I'm going to do in a, the next video. I'm going to leave it like this. These days between Yom HaKippurim and Sukkot, the 91 of Malach, care of by the and the five final letters annihilated so to speak by the five fasts of eating and drinking not wearing sh leather shoes not bathing not anointing with oil not having sexual relations That takes care of the five Gavuros. And now, on the 11th of Tishri, we start to build the Sukkah, which takes care of the Hasidim, the five Hasidim, and the first Hesed that comes from Hud as we build upward. This is a beautiful time as we get the right hand embracing me on uh, Sukkot as we lead up to Hoshana Rabbah which will be a second seal, the seal of the right hand, just like Yom Kippur was the seal of the left hand.